Have you ever been lost and wondered which way was north? If only your shadow could talk. If you live in New Mexico or anywhere else in the lower 48, your shadow eventually points north every day. With a little know-how of shadows and some simple tools, you too can find north, just like the people who lived in New Mexico more than a thousand years ago. The Chacoans who lived in Chaco Canyon figured out which way was north and built massive buildings that aligned to the four cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. These alignments help them to mark several important events in the solar cycle, such as solar noon. This is when the sun is at its highest point in the sky. They also used alignments to mark the fall and spring equinox. These two days mark when the hours of daylight equal the hours of night. The summer solstice. This day of year has the most amount of sunlight. The winter solstice. This day of year has the least amount of sunlight. The buildings of fine masonry that the Chacoans built are now known as great houses. The Chacoans may have used them for purposes related to politics, trade, storage, community gatherings, ceremony, and general living. As farmers, the Chacoans could have used the building alignments to help them follow the seasons. The alignments could have had a spiritual purpose too. Today, Chaco Culture National Historical Park preserves several dozen of these great houses, including Pueblo Benito. Let's look at the alignments of the great house Pueblo Benito. Pueblo Benito had hundreds of rooms and was at least four stories high in parts. From a bird's eye view, the great house looks like the letter D. Built into its structure is a compass bisecting its plaza as a wall that runs from north to south. The wall ends at another wall that runs east to west. It's possible that this north-south wall commemorates solar noon. Every day at solar noon, the shadow cast by the wall seemingly disappears on the left before eventually reappearing on the right. The east-west wall may commemorate the fall and spring equinox. On those two days, the sun rises due east and sets due west in alignment with the wall. But how did the Chacoans tell north? While there are several different ways of finding north, it's possible that the Chacoans studied the relationship between the shadows and the sun. We did a simple experiment to see if Chacoans could have used shadows to determine the cardinal directions. We set up a stand at the intersection of the north, south, and east, west wall at Pueblo Benito. We marked the tip of the stand shadow with a stone every 15 minutes from the morning until the afternoon. Notice how the shadows shorten as the sun approaches solar noon. Objects always cast their shortest shadows of the day at solar noon. At Chaco and other places north of the tropics, the shadows at solar noon point north, which is why the shadow at solar noon is parallel to the north-south wall. But how could the Chacoans tell east and west? There's more than one possible answer for this. But in our experiment, the stones we use to shadow markers travel from west to east. Thus, from the simple experiment, we now know the cardinal directions. What is the science behind this? Shadows are at their shortest or disappear completely when the sun is highest in the sky at solar noon. Solar noon is different than the 12 p.m. noon that we use to tell time. At solar noon, the north-south section of Earth directly faces the sun. This means that the sun's rays are hitting this section more directly than the rest of the Earth. Because the Earth is curved, the sun is hitting the center of the section more directly than the sections to the north or the south. Three things can happen to a shadow at solar noon as the sunlight strikes objects on planet Earth. One, sunlight can hit an object near the center of the Earth at 90 degrees directly head on. This causes objects that stand up like flagpoles to lose their shadow. You might think that this means all flagpoles along the equator lose their shadow daily. But the Earth's axis is tilted 23.5 degrees and the Earth rotates around this axis. 
Because of this tilt, objects between 23.5 degrees north and south of the equator, known as the tropics, take turns losing their shadow, depending on where the Earth is in its orbit around the sun. In Hawaii, objects like flagpoles lose their shadow twice a year at solar noon. Two, sunlight can hit an object north of the tropics at an angle. The sun is due south in the sky. This means an object in New Mexico will cast its shortest shadow at solar noon and that the shadow will point north. Three, sunlight can hit an object south of the tropics at an angle. The sun is due north in the sky. This means an object in New Zealand will cast its shortest shadow at solar noon and that the shadow will point south.